Maurice, what happened on the 4th of March in 1973? That was the day we sank. A whale suddenly surfaced alongside us and rammed us with its head and uh, made a hole in the boat. And uh, we sank. So you sold everything to buy a boat and travel the world with Marilyn? Yes, we were emigrating to New Zealand actually. And you say you survived because animals started to follow your life raft? Yes, they were around us all the time. And you also explained that Marilyn made a hook from a safety pin to catch fish? That was Marilyn's idea, yes indeed. We actually caught a shark with it. But she also got sharks with her own hands, is that true? Oh yes, yes, this was Marilyn's idea. She would sit at the entrance of the life raft and put her finger on the nose of the shark and the shark would come right past and she'd go right down to its tail and she'd do it again. Then one day she was bored with that and she caught hold of its tail and whipped it into the life raft and then we ate it of course. And, uh, but one of the chief things we killed, which didn't please us very much, were turtles. And I didn't like that at all. They, they're such armless creatures and, and they seem to be now in decline. I, I, I didn't like that at all, no. We killed it, we had to decapitate it and, uh, and kill it. And many birds, they follow you as oh, well, yes, right? Oh yes, yes, yes. They'll come and settle. One, I think, actually settled on my head once, but they would settle at the side of us. But it was fatal for them to do that because we killed them. But that made us into vegetarians. We, we thought we wouldn't kill any more animals or allow any more animals to be killed so we became vegetarians. I haven't eaten meat since the, that event, so... And you spent a lot of time bailing water out of the raft. Oh, out. yes, we had to do that almost continuously, night and day, because the life raft was falling to pieces and water flopped in all the time, and so we were bailing all the time. Maurice, tell me about the day you were rescued. It was a usual day, and then Marlon said, I can hear a ship. And I thought she was going mad. There was no, possibly, we hadn't seen a ship. And she said, I can hear a ship. She said, not see a ship. Sure enough, a ship appeared on the horizon. And that was two miles away. And they saw us, the fishermen saw us. I don't think when he called the captain, he could believe it really. And uh, eventually they turned round and came towards us. And that was it. And how do you feel in that moment? I was content with our life on the sea. It had been a, a, quite an education to be amongst all those fish and birds and turtles and the whales. And, um, and we were going back to civilization and we wondered what civilization had to offer us. So if you could, Maurice, would you ever go back to live on that raft? Well, if I could go and do it with, with the knowledge Somebody was going to collect me after four months. I would do it again. Yes, it was a wonderful experience because I've never been close to nature like that for so long. And uh, when you sat in the life raft at night and you could hear the calls of the whales around us, and one some whale actually came up and sat alongside us, as close as you are to me, and. Uh, we, we looked into its big eye, and its big eye looked at us, and, and when we were rescued, I didn't believe it, of course. Uh, we'd been so long, the sea was our life, the animals were our neighbours, and uh, so I didn't believe it that we were going back to human civilization. You say, would I never go back to it? I think I would, just to avoid um, human society and enjoy the wildlife out there. When did Marilyn die? When? 2002. She had cancer. She was a very strong woman. Oh yes mm -hmm. indeed, yes, yes. She did very well. I don't think I could have done as well as she did, no. No. If there'd been two men there in that life raft, we wouldn't have survived. It's just that Marilyn was able to sustain the will to live and that is what females of the species usually do. But, um, my childhood was pretty appalling. Until I met Marilyn, um, I didn't know what affection was. And so it was Marilyn that brought me the uh, happiness I wanted. Do you have daughters? Do you have sons? No, 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 no. 
Do you have any friend or family here in England? No, no. I have I no family. So you have no one in this world? No. I'm not happy. But you don't feel lonely, right? I'm sorry. Do you feel lonely? Oh yes, it's 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 a lonely life, but I'm happy being lonely, I think. Mm. No. Uh. I don't know whether you can really imagine what it's like to be sitting on a life raft and a whale comes up close to you. It's such a treat to see this docile whale alongside you and um, it did nothing, it just stared at us and uh, it sat there for a long time, 20, mi 20 minutes, half an hour. I got to know it very well and then it suddenly went off very slowly, glided away and then it dived, not a splash, it was marvellous, it's just to see that. And then at night we could hear the cries of the whales around us and, uh, and then we were beset with turtles, they wouldn't leave us alone. And dolphins would come along and and die for, and we couldn't believe that we had so many birds around us. I didn't have to kill birds, I didn't have to kill boobies. A booby would sit alongside me, preen itself, and I just whack it, and it wouldn't move, it still sat there, and disgorged flying fish, which we accepted for our meal. You still not believe in God? No. No? But Marilyn did believe in something. I'll tell you when I get up there. You tell me. <laughs> I want to know. <laughs>